Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of most important MCQs for our programming. Before starting the session, I am requesting you guys, please subscribe our YouTube channel, like the video and proceed with this session. And please watch the previous video also so that you can add some more important point into the R programming knowledge. Let's start with this session. Question number 11 is, which of the following involves predicting, which of the following involves predicting a categorical response? So basically for predicting a categorical response, option A classification, clustering, regression, or summarization. So basically classification techniques are used for predicting categorical response. Very easy question it is. Option A is the correct answer. Question number 12 is, point out the wrong statement. Okay. Option A, the grammar of the language determines whether an expression is complete or not. It is true statement because definitely with the help of grammar, we can recognize whether any expression a statement is uh, completed or not. So it is a true, it is not wrong. We need to figure out wrong, right? That is false. Okay. Second B, the uh, less than symbol and less symbol, right? It is used for assignment operator in R. Definitely, we have already discussed in the previous session that this symbol basically represents assignment operator in R. So it is also true. Option C, double hash, character indicates a comment. No, it is false. Why it is false? Because we only use single hash and multiple multi line comments are not used in R programming, right? So it is false. Option C is wrong. And option D, R does not support multi-line comments. Yes, R doesn't support multi-line comments or comment blocks. That is why option C seems to be incorrect. We need to figure out wrong. Thus, option C is the correct answer here. Question number 13. Predicting Y for a value of X that is outside the range of values we actually saw for X in the original data is called. Basically, we, are, we want to predict Y for a particular X which is outside the range. This is called as extrapolation because we actually saw for X in the original data. But if predicting Y for a value of X that is inside, that is called as interpolation. Correct. But here it is outside. So it is called as extrapolation. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 14. Which of the following is built in R so that you get HTML? Which of the following in R so that you can get HTML? Okay, basically Wignets. Wignets is the thing with the help of which you can convert the R into HTML, right? So C is the correct one. Question number 15. What will be the output of the following R code? Install.packages, C, DevTools, comma, or Oxygen2. So basically it is going to install these two packages, which is mentioned here, dev tools and oxygen two. So it, what it is going to do, what is the output? Output is that it is going to install the given packages. Options is the correct answer. Question number 16, which of the following statement can read CSV file? So we want to read CSV file. So with the help of read.table is the take. First thing is that read.table file name, which you want to, let's say if your file name is data set one, so it should be like that header equals to two and separator, right? So option D is the correct answer that is going to read the CSV file. Question number 17, which of the following is an example of a vector graphic device in R? Vector graphic device in R, SVG. SVG is the correct answer. It is an example of vector graphics in R, different, different formats, basically EIF, PNG, SVG, JPG. SVG is the example of vector graphics in R, right? Question number 18. Okay. What function computes the time in second need to execute an expression? System dot time. System dot time. It is a function that is going to calculate the time in seconds to execute an expression. So option C is the correct answer. Question number 19. Files containing R script ends with an extension, obviously dot R. Dot R determines that file is written in R script. Option B is the correct answer. And question number 20. Collection of objects currently stored in R is called as, so collection of all objects that is stored in R is called as workspace. 
option C is the correct answer. So guys, I hope all the 20 questions which we have discussed in the R programming, most important MCQs are very much clear to all of you. If anybody have doubt, very confusion, please feel free to ask and do subscribe our YouTube channel for more such important and useful videos. Thank you so much, guys. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.